you are listening to the federal this is shubakirtana in today's podcast we're going to talk about the four day working week that continues to gain momentum with pilots taking place in australia canada us ireland and the uk mm-hmm. this scheme is set to benefit everyone by raising workers productivity improving work life balance and happiness levels and also reducing unemployment mm-hmm. we have with us uh, mr raj prabhakar a senior hr professional thank you so much for joining me sir thank you you are you're welcome uh, shubha it's always a pleasure talking to you so sir uh, my first question is the center is likely to implement uh, the four new labor codes on wages social yeah. security industrial yeah. relations yeah. occupational safety health yeah. and work conditions so which Correct. will pave the way for a four day work week yeah But, uh, in india will this work <laughs> it's a billion dollar question shubha uh, because we are so used to this uh, five days of work uh, uh, five days of work in a week uh, culture and that is that uh, only for 40 hours this so if it is four days it is going to increase as 48 hours yes. so uh, there is a challenge so you are saying productivity Uh, working for more hours uh, uh, normally the science says the productivity goes down when you work for very long hours mm. so uh, it is a blessing or a disguise you know we, we don't know because when you work uh, four days 48 hours in, in order to have one day extra holiday mm-hmm. uh, you know sometimes may not be a, a good uh, work life balance for workers and it it, it may also um, Uh, affect the productivity of the organization because 12 hours if a guy is sitting in work how mm-hmm. many hours is go- he or she is going to work productively mm-hmm. uh, so the quality of the work is very important right uh, mm-hmm. so so uh, it it is a, it's a billion dollar question we'll have to wait and watch right but i think it um, it depends from one industry to the other right i mean there is this hospitality industry and then the hospital and there are uh, other things like police department etc absolutely care. absolutely uh, but the human beings are same right which are in this tree we are in <laughs> you and me you and me are same right and the same way people also so you see they 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 say more than 20 minutes if you concentrate on one particular thing you will have to have a break and then get inside because the brain doesn't work beyond that mm-hmm. so uh, i understand that we have a very uh, tight production systems pl- uh, process and all that Mm. but uh, 12 hours continuously imagine a human being standing in one place or uh, writing codes or taking taking care of the patients or managing the guest in the restaurant for 12 yeah. hours continuously uh, it's a little of little bit of stress and tension as well right yeah. so uh, so management has to uh, see different ways of managing it maybe uh, adding more breaks in between uh, uh having two three uh, i mean a little longer lunch break so we we'll have to we we'll have to really learn to adapt to the system mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah there are going to be a lot of challenges but uh, we we need to learn to adapt to the system shubha right right but as per the reports uh, there will be more money in pfs and less in hand salary so yeah <laughs> you got the you got the tail that's what i mentioned the this money at the end of the day it matters so no, definitely definitely <laughs> definitely uh, more money yes and uh, also the more lucrative thing is like you have three days right so hmm. many people can venture into their personal uh, ambitions and freelancing uh, things like that so uh, for especially for women folk uh, folks uh, this is a good, great opportunity for them to work and also manage home uh, things like that so mm-hmm. i see i see both the side plus and minuses as well and uh, we'll have to wait and watch wait and watch right uh, so there is a strong association uh, between reduced working hours and increased part time employment uh, yeah. is because you know companies um, whose full time workers they reduce mm. their hours to uh, have to hire their part timers to ensure output does not drop especially in the service sector yeah so this is going to get tricky then yeah yeah uh, not really even otherwise they can do this uh, shubha uh, it is uh, we don't have to look at that way uh, Uh, but what i am looking at uh, you know in this point of uh, this thing is 
uh, again and repeating the productivity part of it 12 hours at a stretch when somebody is working mm-hmm. how far the organization is going to gain out of this so productively right. so so that is one uh, one aspect second uh, second challenge is like uh, so if they are going to have uh, four days um, i'm sure organizations will add one more day and they will also expect them to uh, mm-hmm. work for more hours Uh, in case if they are working for an additional day mm-hmm. and uh, if they get some exemptions things like that normally they used to work for 8 hours now they will work for a 12 hours now mm-hmm. hospital hospital industry and uh, uh, hospitality mm-hmm. those people they will have to work for uh, uh, you know uh, all the seven yeah. days right yeah, yeah. Uh, so so now uh, usually they used to work for 8 hours now they have to work for 12 hours shiva so they will work for the other days also 12 hours so yeah. the wo- overtime and other things there are so many things to get standardized right but how these things work abroad and why these things don't happen much in india is it because we are understand as in i mean as a country that the labor force um, is not all that great in india we we have all the rules and regulations and process uh, system as well uh, mm-hmm. but how much of it is in 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 uh, real in public ah uh, yeah that's a, that's a, that's a that's a billion dollar question shubha so uh, we have system we have rules like uh, other countries as well uh, but some places there are there are some gaps shubha it's not it's not 100% implemented as it is hmm 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 oh, yeah. um, but you know when labor markets are so tight um, it would be strange to reduce the labor supply by cutting everyone's working hours you know mm-hmm. unless of course workers they manage to be as productive as over 5 days so what are mm-hmm. the alternatives sir uh, uh, honestly from my point of view but this particular thing i do not see alternative because i uh the way currently uh, the industries are working uh mm-hmm. five days uh, itself many of my, my client uh, uh you know it, it is not sufficient for them they require more days and uh, giving an opportunity they will run all the seven days that's the state right now so uh it is going to be a great uh, challenge i do not see an alternative in this and we we are talking a lot about this because you know i mean pandemic it has changed the way the world works you know we yeah. people seeking greater flexibility to improve mm. work life balance actually mm. uh, i mean what is funny is that um, the more we strive towards work life balance it's actually reverse we we never see that come our way <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're absolutely right right uh, work life balance is something is it happens to you when you are effortless shubha anybody mm-hmm. not only you anybody when they are doing effortless work that time so when you put more pressure try to achieve work life balance how will you achieve balance <laughs> so mm-hmm. there will be more pressure only if yeah. you ask me that, you know during pandemic i think people most of the people who are working had a better time um, and now you know they have to go back to office and definitely mm-hmm. uh, partial uh, portion of the workforce have a tough time to going back to office but mm. by now i think kind of we are back to normal now um, i see uh, things are things are in place and organizations also have taken a lot of new measures to standardize and give a opportunity for the people who can work from home lot of people who are working from home after pandemic who are able to do that from home which is a good sign and uh, we save money we save fuel and uh, people also able to do lots of things sitting from home so uh, there are there are uh, the, the hybrid work environment is uh, is a positive thing happening right now right right yeah. Yeah. Now, and the last question to you: um, uh, A four-day work week for everyone in state, you know, uh, could ensure pay equality among genders, as you rightly pointed out. Um, you know, a two-day weekend was not often enough for women, especially mm-hmm. when you see mm-hmm. young mothers, mm-hmm. you know, who have children, mm-hmm. and they would not have much time for themselves. After all, the care work they do. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. women often they opt for smaller shifts and mm. the shorter work days for lower pay after mm. they become mothers mm. so but if this impli- if this got implemented i think mm. um, this would be a welcome step towards a gender equality and uh, the women's career progression right uh, not really shubha from my side mm-hmm. who i am looking at is you know women need more as you rightly pointed need more hours to balance 
home and as well the work right so mm-hmm. so if it is a if it is a four day week and she has to stretch more hours 12 hours uh, you know the more hours she has to work there mm-hmm. so so that time uh, you know how she is going to manage the four days uh, uh, is the area where, where i am continuously looking at not only women even other folks as well you know mm-hmm. there are extra working hours right mm-hmm. not only we used to wait eight, eight hours only right 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 so so that's the area uh, that's the area from the beginning i'm keep on pointing out to you because not only productivity for women women folks you know they'll have to go back home and uh, how are they going to manage the extra hours in the those four days mm. uh, is a, is a is a serious point which i'm looking at but uh, i think uh, hopefully we we will manage that in a better way right thank you uh, so much for your time sir uh, so you're you're well you're welcome to the end of the conversation thank you you're you're welcome to